This is going to be a short video on how to add a placemark and also add picture and text inside of your placemark <coughs> using an HTML editor. Remember that all Google Earth placemarks speak the language of HTML and we don't know HTML so we have to have a translator. Um, to find our translator uh, to put text, in, put text and images and other links inside of our placemark, we're going to find our link on Delicious. So I'm going to go to our STJ STL Delicious account and over on the right hand side, uh, remember HTML and the class we're in is in technology so it's a technology tag or it's a technology link. So under technology I click on technology and I should see that there are 46 websites that I have available that I can look at. And down here is HTML because it's an HTML editor that we're looking for. So I click HTML and I see I have a free online HTML editor. I'm going to click on that. Okay. Under here I'm going to get rid of all the, the junk that's kind of inside of my HTML, HTML editor. So now I'm ready to start typing. The, the, book, the placemark I'm going to use is for the deciduous forest and as an example I'm going to use the Osage Beach, Missouri. The area outlined in green is a national park so I'm arbitrarily going to put a placemark uh, out here in the middle of my national park and I'm going to label this and title it um, Lake of the Ozarks Deciduous Forest. Okay. Now, in the description box, this is where I'm going to put all my information. But what information am I going to put in there? Inside of your placemarks, you all need to have an image. So I'm going to go find an image at Flickr. So I'm going to open here, and I'm going to go to Flickr. One of the reasons I want to use Flickr is because I can search for Creative Commons licensed images. So here I'm going to type Osage Beach, Missouri, and I'm going to search. When I search, it's going to give me all of the pictures, copyrighted and Creative Commons licensed. But I don't want to search through all my pictures. I want to just find the Creative Commons licensed ones, the ones that aren't copyrighted. So under the advanced search feature, I'm going to go down to and I'm going to select only search within Creative Commons licensed content and click search. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through and find an image that I think best exhibits and shows the deciduous forest. And for example, I will choose this one. Under, under the example I have down here, I can see that it is a Creative Commons licensed image. You can see here, it's some rights reserved. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this picture. I'm going to choose the size that I want the picture to be. Under all sizes, this picture as large would be way too big and take up way too much room in my place mark. So I'm going to choose small. This image, this image size would be just perfect inside of my place mark. So I'm going to single right click on it and I'm going to go to properties. Under properties, I'm going to I'm going to highlight single left click and highlight the address. Another name for address is what's called URL. I'm going to take my address and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my free online editor and I'm going to select insert image. And here is where I will paste my address. I'm going to click OK and here's where now I have my picture. I'm also in the, underneath here, I'm going to put some text. Uh, Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Now I can also highlight my text. I can change its color. I can change its size. Here I'm going to change the font color to purple. I'm going to change the font size to 24. And I'm going to change the font uh, style to impact. And now I'm ready to start pasting into my placemark. But the problem is, what language is the only language that my placemark understands? HTML. HTML. So I'm going to have to translate this to HTML. So this button here, the toggle HTML source, will translate what I see into HTML. So that is HTML. So I'm going to highlight my HTML. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back to Google Earth. I'm going to paste that HTML into my placemark and click OK. Now, when I go click on my placemark, it inside of my placemark is everything just like I've seen it before. Now, after I'm done with my place, creating my placemark, I'm going to have to save it. Now, for us here at school, we are going to save it to a place on our server that we will, we've talked about in class. But to save it, it's very simple. All I have to do is single right click on my placemark, and anybody want to take a guess what uh, what what I'm going to click on next? Just shout it out. Save place as. 
save place as. So I'm going to click save place as, and it's going to ask me where do I want to save my place mark. Now, like I said, I'm going to just save it to my desktop, but you're going to want to save it to what you, what's called your H drive. So I'm just going to click save, and it'll be there next time I want to open it. So if I close Google Earth, it's going to ask me if I want to save my temporary places. I'm going to say no. So when I open Google Earth again, I want to open the place mark that I just made. So as soon as it opens, blah, 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 blah. There you go. I'm going to go to File, Open. Now you're going to go to your H drive, but I'm going to go to my desktop. And on my desktop, I will find a file that says Lake of the Ozarks Deciduous Forest. I'm going to click Open. And look at what appears. My place mark. And when I click on my place mark, it will have everything inside of it just like I left it. See? And that is how you add and save content into your place mark.